Hello. In this video, I will show you how to easily set up Lucy in Tomcat. Lucy is a servlet and therefore needs to run inside a servlet container, and Tomcat is the most popular servlet container in the market. We will download the Tomcat distribution zip file and the Lucy distribution jar file, create a Catalina home directory by extracting the Tomcat archive locally, create a Catalina base directory using the make base utility, configure Lucy in the Catalina base directory, and launch Tomcat to test the installation. This setup is cross-platform and will work similarly on Windows, Linux, and Mac, with minor changes in the batch or shell scripts. The only requirement is that you have Java installed, and you can test that easily by opening a terminal or command prompt and running the command java-version. If you get the Java version information, then you're all set. If you get an error, then install Java and ensure that it is added to the path. All of the links will be posted in the description, so let's get started. The first thing to do is to download the Tomcat distribution from the Tomcat website. I went ahead and downloaded the current stable version, which is 9.0.11. The second file that we need is the Lucy jar file from the Lucy download site. I went ahead and downloaded the current snapshot version of the Lucy jar file uh, 5.3.1.51. The two most important settings for Tomcat are the environment variables Catalina Home and Catalina Base. Like many other Java programs, Catalina Home should point to the directory that contains the binary files that we downloaded. By default, Catalina Base points to the same directory as Catalina Home, but specifying a separate directory allows us to override the config settings of Catalina Home. That makes it easy to run multiple configurations side by side or update the Tomcat binaries without worrying about the configuration settings, so we will use different values for the two variables. Installing Tomcat in this configuration is super simple. Extract the contents of the downloaded archive to the target local directory. And that directory will be our Catalina home. Newer versions of Tomcat come with the handy utility called MakeBase. We will use the MakeBase utility to create the Catalina base directory. I will create it in a directory called Lucy slash Lucy-8080. That will create the Catalina base directory for us, which will use the default port of 8080. This way, we will be able to easily add other instances that will listen on different ports and run with different configurations or versions. We can see the newly created directory here. And you can see that the directory structure is similar to the one that comes with Catalina Home. All of our configuration changes will be made into this directory. That will allow us to easily upgrade Tomcat in Catalina Home without worrying about losing the configuration settings of our application. The first thing to do will be to, to copy the Lucy jar file into the lib directory here. So let's go ahead and do that. And next, we'll open Catalina Base slash web apps and create a default site. The directory name for the default site is root all uppercase. So let's go ahead and open that one in a text editor. Inside the root directory, I'll create a directory named webinf, 
This one also needs to be all uppercase because it is part of the Java specification for servlets. And inside that we'll create a file named web.xml and that file has to be all in lowercase, the file name. We will copy the configuration for Lucy into that file. These configurations define Lucy as a servlet with the name CFML servlet and points to the correct class inside the Lucy jar. It also maps the servlet to request that has the URL pattern that ends with .cfc, .cfm, or .cfml. It configures the Lucy REST servlet. And it sets the welcome file list to include index.cfm as the default. You can also override the settings of the default Tomcat servlet and enable listings uh, to be true if you want to see directory listing, which is very useful in development, but uh, something that you definitely don't want to do in a production environment. We'll go ahead and save that file. The last thing we need to do is to add a small startup script, which will set the environment variables for Catalina Home and Catalina Base, and launch Tomcat. I will correct the paths here and save the file as startup.sh in the Catalina base directory. Since we're running in a Linux machine, we will also need to make sure that the file is executable. So let's Add execute permission for that file. And our configuration is now complete. Let's test it out by adding a small CFML script and launching Tomcat. We'll create a test file. Add some simple CFML code. Call it index.cfm and put it at the root of the website which is aptly named root and let's go ahead and launch Tomcat. The first time that Lucy starts it takes a little bit longer because it needs to extract extensions and other uh, files but then at the end of the process you see that it's started and Tomcat is listening on port 8080. Let's open the browser and go to localhost at port 8080. And there you have it. Lucy 53151 snapshot running from Tomcat. I hope that this tutorial has been useful to you. Please feel free to post the questions or any feedback you might have in the comments. Thank you.